What's up, everybody? Dorn Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about why working with less realtors actually makes you more money with more fun, fulfillment, flow, and freedom. In other words, working with less of the drama queen, low producing, jelly donut eating, bottom feeding realtors, and more of the high quality, high producing, high energy, and battery charging realtors versus battery draining realtors actually makes you more money and has you feeling great about the synergy, great about the relationship, and having more fun while you're doing it. So more funds, more fun and less drama and trauma. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today is what are the mindsets and what are the key distinctions you need to be aware of to make that your reality so we can take it from theory and bring it into your everyday life in your business. So let's launch into this, shall we? Let's start off with reason number one. Reason number one, of the top five reasons why having less realtors actually makes you more money is as follows. Not all realtors are created equal. If you've been in this game for any period of time, you know that to be true because you've probably noticed if you've had any time engaging realtors, there's a lot of bottom draining or rather bottom feeding and energy draining realtors that zap you, that have you feel taxed and maxed because of all the drama and trauma and all the flakiness and all the empty promises and all the you know minutia that you have to deal with in the wrong realtors that zap you and so we want to be cognizant that not all realtors are created equal there's an energetic frequency that you experience with the wrong realtor that's very different than the energetic frequency when you're working with the right realtor. Have you found that to be true? In other words, when we're, when you're working with the wrong realtor, it feels very different. It feels heavy. It feels heavy laden. Now, right now, most mortgage professionals worth their salt are crazy busy right now. If you've been in this business for any period of time and you have a database of past clients or a database of contacts, chances are you're swept up with this refi boom. You're busier than ever before. So people are crazy busy in this business as a general rule right now, which is beautiful. It's bringing an avalanche of awesome and avalanche of business. But on the flip side, you guys, a lot of you guys are maxed out. I've been talking to clients uh, a lot lately about you know, the fact that they're just trying to survive through the day, survive through the week, survive through the month. They're making money hand over fist, but they're not exercising. They're burnt out. They're feeling totally tapped out. And in many cases, they're feeling miserable because while they're making more money than ever before, they have no freedom. And they're literally anchored to their desk 12 hours a day plus, and they have no time to take care of themselves, to fuel their tank to energize themselves and fill their cup with things that have them feel great about their life and great about you know, why they're doing what they're doing. Slaying dragons for the family is great, but if you feel terrible in your body because you're in burnout mode and you're absolutely miserable because all you do is work every day, then that is not a sustainable path. That is license and recipe for burnout. And so we wanna get you cognizant about not all business is equal and not all realtors are equal. Every client and every realtor comes at a cost. Some come with a experience of delight where you want to invest in them. You delight in the process of working with them. They're fun. They bring flow and ease to the communication just because how they show up. Energetically, it feels different. On the flip side, if you're working with people that are continually and perennially complaining or they don't respond or you're having to herd cats and push soggy noodles up hills because they don't do what they say they were going to do and then they blame you for it or they blame outside circumstances for it and you feel like you're constantly having to chase 
that is taxing energetically that zaps your battery so not all realtors are created equal there are battery chargers and there are battery drainers and right now more than ever before for most mortgage professionals you're really cognizant of how much your battery needs to be recharged because once you start running on fumes and you're running on e it can be very easy to start to get yourself into some very negative patterns where all you're doing is working and the things that matter most to you like your health like your family like your loved ones get put to the side and you can only do that so long before you end up being a train wreck and having your life completely a destructive and completely devastated experience because you're not filling your tank and there's a great saying that I want to bring to your mind right now that I heard many years ago that rung true then and it rings true today. And that is there's no amount of success outside of the home that makes up for failure inside the home. And so in other words, it doesn't make any sense to go out there and sacrifice the things that money can't buy, relationships, health those things that are priceless in your life that money can't replace to sacrifice those things to go out and make money and then once you end up you end up divorced or you end up having a heart attack or you end up having you know some serious health issues now you're trying to throw money at something to fix that which you neglected because you were chasing money and so it's important to keep the main things the main things and you want to bring that mindset into your partnerships with your realtors and you want to have the distinctive and very purposeful and intentional mindset of understanding that you can have it any way you want it if you don't settle you can have the partnerships you want you can have the income you want you can have the freedom you want you can have the lifestyle you want you can have the impact and the contribution and the service to the world you want but you've got to approach your business with a premise that indeed number one you can have it the way you want and number two you need to be strategic about who you're investing your time and your money with and in so that you're not going backwards and sacrificing the things that really matter most which is your own experience of life are you delighting in your work are you delighting in your career are you loving the process are you having fun are you feeling fulfilled is it a joy are you rejoicing in your work if the answer is hell no i'm just trying to survive the day i submit to you that you're doing it the hard way i submit to you that you're getting in your own way by virtue of your own thinking i call it stinking thinking and I've had it too, where you think that the way you're doing it is the right way and then you realize, wait a second, I'm actually causing myself more suffering than is necessary. And I'm causing myself that suffering because when you're inside the bottle, it's hard to see the label. So when you get too close to the action, you just go through the motions just to be in survival mode, but you're not actually creating a business that has you feeling like you're thriving. You're just surviving. I want you guys to start to think about what it would look like to have a business and a team of rock star agents that have you feel like you're thriving, mm -hmm. loving the synergy, loving the interaction, the communication, the mutual respect and honor and trust and the way you empower each other to continue to win and expand and serve the clients with excellence and having fun while you do it, affirming each other, having a bond that goes beyond business where you would have them at your birthday party you would have them at your wedding you would have them you know come to the you know the uh, special event and just hang out and sip some bevies and connect and have quality time together see that's the kind of relationships that you want to create less is more you want higher quality relationships and less of them because not all of those relationships are created equal. Some are battery drainers, some are battery chargers. Some fill your cup, not just in terms of income, but also energetically, where you smile when you even think about hanging with them and working with them and collaborating with them. The others, man, it's like pulling teeth to do anything and it's a lot of drama and trauma that frankly weighs you down. 
Life is too short to work with drama queens. Life is too short to work with battery drainers. Life is too short to voluntarily inflict your inflict, inflict yourself, easy for me to say, to voluntarily inflict yourself with people that energetically drain you. So that's the first reason why working with less realtors actually makes you more money because you go for quality over quantity. That flies in the face of the general, you know, conventional wisdom out there where these so-called experts and coaches are telling you to call the same 40 realtors every Monday. It's the, you know, shotgun approach. Just get a big list and just pound them over and over and over again, cold calling and reaching out to them, talking about how your weekend went and you got any leads for me and you got any, anybody that needs to get pre-approved or pre qual That is doing it the hard way because what you're doing is you're not necessarily thinking about quality. You're just pounding the pavement, throwing yoga to the fan, hoping something sticks. And you're not cognizant of energetically, is this person actually someone who I want to roll with? Are they a cool cat I want to roll with? If the answer is not, hell yeah, then why do you keep beating the same dead horse, calling them every Monday with a lame ass value proposition about great rates, great service, throw me a bone? That is doing it the hard way. So this, I understand, flies in the face of general and conventional wisdom. But if you want to have extraordinary results, you can't afford to have conventional thinking. You gotta have extraordinary thinking, which is all about working smarter, not harder. So that's the first reason why less is more. Second reason is that more realtor partners actually means more responsibility. You've probably found that to be true, right? Every partner you have is almost like another client. Every partner you have is another client who wants something from you, who is seeing you as the go-to, which means you've got responsibilities on your to-do list when you're working with them. You've got clients to serve, you've got deliverables to deliver on time on, and so all of that comes with a reward for you if you do it your job properly, which is getting paid, but you wanna be cognizant that the more realtors you have, they're almost like, you know, each realtor is an additional client that you're servicing, that you're supporting, that you're working with in conjunction with to serve their outcomes and their clients' outcomes. So if that is indeed the case, does it not make sense to be selective with the caliber and the quality of those quote unquote clients or partnerships? So you're getting maximum reward for the least amount of responsibility and stress I don't know about you, but that just seems like a logical, effective way to approach it. If you're going to be putting more responsibility on your plate and have more people to deal with and more responsibilities inside of your role with each of those people, does it not make sense to get maximum reward, not just bank account reward, but psychic reward, heart reward, where you are having fun in flow and enjoying the process, enjoying the journey, enjoying the synergy, I submit to you, that is what I call working smarter, not harder. It's called have less realtors, but better quality realtors, and let's get you paid at a much higher level and have a whole lot more fun doing it. So that way you have less responsibility, but way richer reward. Does that make sense? So that's the second reason why less is more. Third reason why less is more when it comes to realtors is the average realtor is nothing but drama and trauma and a whole bunch of stress and a whole bunch of minutia to have to deal with with very little reward. In other words, there's a shit ton of squeezing to the fruit, but there's not a whole lot of juice coming out of the fruit. The juice is not worth the squeeze. You guys want it the opposite than that. You want maximum juice with minimal squeeze, right? You want to have maximum juice with minimal squeeze. You know what I call that? Extraordinary, not ordinary. I call that excellent, not average. The average realtor is maximum drudgery, drama, time, energy, money, and stress with minimal juice from all that squeezing. And if you aren't discerning about who you're working with, if you're not discerning about the type of 
partner that is your ideal dream team member and what kind of qualities and characteristics they bring to the table and what you will accept and what you will not accept and the mission critical qualities you're looking for as part of your dream team profile. If you don't have clarity on that, you will enable mediocrity. You will enable drama queens. You will enable it by virtue of tolerating it. And far too often we tolerate it because we think just because they send us business once in a while that we're on the hook and we're responsible to them. That's not true. They need to feel privileged to work with you. They need to feel privileged and it being an honor to work with you. But if you're just an average Joe LO and you don't offer something exceptional, something unique, something compelling, something outside of the ordinary to bring to that relationship, then what happens is you end up just being a replaceable cog in the wheel. You becoming, you now become a replaceable commodity and they treat you like they're bitch, right? They treat you like you're just another loan hawker and you're their bitch doing all of their loan work. And anytime you mess up, you are liable of losing their partnership. That's the wrong way to do it, friends. That is called doing it the hard way. And the problem is most mortgage professionals out there have never been properly trained on how to structure their value proposition so that they own the cookie, so that they hold the cookie, so that they have the right to choose who they work with and who they don't, so that they become irreplaceable and indispensable. So it's not your fault, friends. If you notice that you're enabling this drama and trauma with these realtors, if you notice that you're part of the problem because you actually tolerate it and you don't fire these realtors, you don't do what I call a team enema and flush them out because you feel this fear that if you do, you might lose business. That is frankly not your fault because no one's taught you how to do it the smart way. No one's taught you how to build a framework where you now are irreplaceable and indispensable, where you've got such a stack of awesome that you bring to the table that is irreplaceable and indispensable that has you become the go-to exclusive mortgage professional for these real estate agents. They make you their exclusive. They put you on their speed dial and they couldn't even bear the thought of losing you because there's so much pain of disconnect. If you were to go, it's like they're having to settle for now substandard solutions, substandard service and substandard value because no one else even gets close to you. Because no one's taught you how to do that, you're settling and tolerating a whole lot of drama, trauma, mediocrity, stress, and hassle with these bottom feeding, whining, stimulating, complaining, jelly donut eating, low producing agents who aren't worth the squeeze, friends. They're not worth the squeeze because the juice that you get out of all that squeeze is frankly nada. It's very little compared to what you could be getting if you're working with a top dog, if you're working with someone who you jive with and you flow with and you're having fun with and they're doing 20, 30, 40, 50 transactions a year and they've got you on their speed dial, they've made you their exclusive. They're not passing out three business cards. Screw freaking that. They understand that having a top-notch preferred lender in the transaction is one of the fastest, easiest ways to gain control over the quality of the transaction. So they don't leave it to chance. They exercise iron-fisted control because they know that's what's best for the client. They don't leave that to happenstance. They know this, in many cases, is the highest transaction with the most amount of zeros and commas their client will ever do in their entire life. They don't want to leave that to chance. They don't want to leave it to happenstance or guesswork. So they bring you to the table to help bring that certainty that it's going to be a five-star, world-class, first-class experience for the client. And therefore, they have more control over that quality of a transaction and they have more control over getting the five-star reviews and the referrals and the repeat business that comes out of that in wake of that. Does that make sense, guys? So that is all intentional by virtue of working with the rock star realtors, not the average realtors, the winning realtors, not the whining realtors, the champion realtors, not the complaining realtors. And so if you're not intentional about working with those top dog realtors, you're going to settle for 
what is left, the dregs, mediocrity, and second best in your business and ultimately second best in your life. The fourth big reason why less is more is VIP realtors give you maximum fun with maximum fundings. In other words, because you're in flow, in synergy with mutual respect and love, and you've got that collaboration where sparks are flying and they're sending you all their business all the time and they're doing big business. They have a big database of past clients. They've got big influence with their clients. When they tell the client jump, the client says how high, and now they're emphatically endorsing you as the go-to mortgage professional, as the preferred mortgage professional on their team. you got to be knowing you don't need many of those to start pushing the needle on profit and performance at a very high level. You don't need many of those. You maybe need six to 10 of them who are sending you one, two, three deals a month and you've blown up your pipeline and you're multiplying your income and you're having way more fun while you're doing it because you're working in synergy, in harmony, in collaboration. It's fun, it's flow, it's fulfillment. And ultimately that leads to more fundings as well. You guys with me on that? So that's my goal for you, that you guys create that and you manifest that. But it starts by understanding, number one, it's possible. Number two, it's probable. Number three, it's inevitable if you have the right value proposition. So now the fifth reason why less is more is that working with winners creates more winning. You look at a champion team, whether it be you know the uh, two triplets of championships, for the Chicago Bulls in basketball with Jordan. That winning legacy that was created was created by virtue of a winning team. It wasn't just Jordan. It was Pippen. It was Rodman. It was the winning team where everyone leveled up. Everyone rose to the occasion. It was the best of the best of synergy, of a champion level mindset, of growth, of stepping out of the comfort zone, of expansion, of intentionality, being willing to do what champions do so they can get champion results. So when you level up with winners, you can't help but level up in your life. And so water always seeks its own level. If you're just getting by and you're just kind of drifting and you're just kind of doing what you've always done and getting what you've always got, you're just you know coasting, and you're getting out of the morning, out of bed in the morning, kind of like, okay, here we go another day working 12 hours. This is a half do, and you got a big ass list of to do's, and you're grinding through the day, and you're white knuckling, and you're in survival mode, and you're just trying to kind of get through the day versus get from the day. You got to be knowing that energetic frequency is not going to attract rock stars and champions and winners. That kind of frequency is going to attract bottom feeders and complainers and drama drama queen chumps that perpetuate more of that same energy, right? So you need to be the champion you want to attract. You need to be the winner you want to attract. If you want to attract tens, you got to show up and start shining. Bring your light and your love to the table every day. Don't get through the day. Get from the day. Don't just try and survive. Let's thrive. Don't just try and and, you know, reduce your problems. Instead, grow from your problems. Take those problems and say, how can I grow from them? How can I grow through those problems to become the best version of myself? That's the kind of champion mindset. So working with winners and having that be your goal and having that be your intention, having that be the dream that you give thanks for in advance, elevates your energy. When you think about working with average bottom feeding agents. How do you feel when you think about working with the flakes, working with the drama queens, working with the people who don't deliver on their promises, working with the people who don't have any clients to send you, but they like to micromanage every deal they do send you, even though they only send you a deal every three, four, five, six months. When you think about working with those agents in your emotional state, how do you feel? Just check in with that emotional state. Okay. Just notice how that feels. Working with those average agents, those drama queen agents, those low, low producing agents, all the drama and trauma. Now, notice that feeling. Now, I want to invite you to imagine working with just a few rock stars. Let's flush out all the drama queens. Let's fire all their asses. And let's just get you working with rock stars, top producers, champions, winners. They've got great energy. They're in gratitude. They're excited. They're ambitious. 
They're fun. They're driven. They affirm you. They appreciate you. They're the kind of person you'd want to just hang out with and take a Freedom Friday off and just go play golf with or go to the beach with or you go have a bevy at the bar with or whatever. Like there's, there's someone you'd invite over to a barbecue at your house. That kind of synergy. Like this is a sister or a brother that you count a true friend. Now imagine that feeling. You're bringing in more deals than you ever have before from these few rock star VIPs. And you're getting one, two, three deals a month from them. They've made you their exclusive. You're having a blast with them. You're collaborating in a way where you're leveling up their game, they're leveling up your game. Everyone's winning. There's an upward spiral of awesome that's starting to create this new momentum and this new magic in your life and your business. And all the drama is gone. Now it's just focusing on solutions. It's all about constructive solution-mindedness. All the drama is gone. And just notice the abundance, the opulence, the joy, the peace, the synergy. Notice the feeling in that vision. How does that feel? Does that call you forth? Does that call the best out of you? Does that inspire you? If the answer is yes, that, my friends, is the only reason you need to cling on to. If there's only thing that you remember, one thing you remember for this entire podcast is this. That energy is why less is more. Life is too short to settle for anything less. This is not a dress rehearsal. This is a one-shot deal. Let's rejoice in your work. Let's have fun in your work. Let's create a magical life from your work and in your work. And let's not just have an average business. Let's have an extraordinary business. Let's have a business that calls the best out of you every single day. That's what I'm talking about. That's a life worth living. And that's a dream worth living into. Agreed? So that being said, if what I've mentioned so far in terms of those five reasons why it pays to work with the top dogs, the five reasons why less is more, working with less realtors, but better quality realtors gives you more funds and more fulfillment and more flow. And you're digging what I'm laying down for you. And you want to find out how can I create that kick-ass value proposition? How can I structure my business so that I call the shots where they're working on my term, not the other way around? How do I create the unique value so that I've got a stack of awesome so I can pick and choose who I work with? How can I attract these top producing agents in spite of the fact they're already working with a lender? They're already married to their lender. How do I do that without the hell of cold calling? If you'd like to learn the secret sauce on how to do that, you'd like to explore what it really takes to multiply your income and multiply your purchase pipeline with more fun and more flow and more ease than ever before and to be able to do it in a way that allows you to be in the driver's seat of your business, then I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. What we'll do is we'll hop on the phone together and have a real talk conversation about where you're at now in your business, where you want to be in your business. And if we can help you create that breakthrough and bridge that gap, by all means, we'll show you how. If not, frankly, we'll be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services, perhaps recommend something or someone else. Either way, though, my goal, our goal for you, would be to leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun along the way. And you'll have more clarity from these 60 minutes with me or one of my team members than chances are you've had in a very, very long time, perhaps even ever in your entire career. So if you're a 100% commission mortgage professional and you're wanting to increase your income by at least $100,000 or more in the next 12 months, and you're sick and tired of getting towed around by the nose by these low producing, whining, simming, complaining, jelly donut eating, low producing realtors, and you're ready to start working with the champions and step into your champion identity and create that champion life, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Let's just have a chat and see how we can help you. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action in the form of gratitude, in the form of commitment, in the form of passion, chances are you will get massive results. This is Doran Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Be blessed. We'll talk to you again soon. Peace.